Welcome for Cal Students to class today on this Monday the 3rd. I hope you guys are ready to take your test today. Let's go ahead and jump into the announcements. I'm going to talk very fast today because I want to give you a lot of time to work on your test today. So here we go. Uh, we're taking a test today, obviously, and a test tomorrow. Okay, so I'm going to split the test up into two days. That should help you a little bit. Um, if you're not able to finish the test today in class, be sure and finish it today uh, before the class day, before the day is over. Same thing with tomorrow also. Uh, Wednesday will have notes only because I cannot give you homework, exponential functions. Thursday you'll have homework only, exponential functions. Expect a pretty long video on Wednesday since there's no homework. Uh, Friday we will have a quiz. Be thankful we're having a quiz on Friday, okay? Uh, be thankful it'll be a short quiz, so it should be an easy quiz. We'll have notes on Friday, quiz, word problems about exponential functions, exponential functions, and you'll have homework on Friday, okay? Go ahead and turn in your review sheets now. Please make sure your name is on your review sheets. I'm going to pause just a second while you guys do that. Go ahead and turn in your review sheets. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and go on because you're going to pause the video now, pass out the test, and then restart the video. So go ahead and pause the video, turn in your review sheets, pass out the test, and then restart the video once everyone has turned in their review sheet and has a test on their desk. Please do not turn your review sheet in if you did not do the entire review sheet, okay? Please do not do that. Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and go over your test at this time. Uh, question number one, I'm telling you that sine of x equals 4 sevenths and cosine of x equals negative square root of 33 over 7. Find cotangent of x. Now listen, you must show all of your work by using trig identities. So the way you must solve that is using trig identities. It's a pretty simple problem. Uh, cotangent equals something with cosine and sine. You should know that. And so be sure and show all of your work on a separate sheet of paper or on your test there. Number two, in the space below, verify the identity. Okay, so go ahead and verify that identity. Number three, find all the solutions from 0 to 2 pi for that equation. Okay, 3 tangent squared 2x minus 1. I will say this about number three. Number three is one of those problems where notice we're not, notice we don't have tangent squared of x. We have tangent squared of 2x, so it's one of those problems where you have to take 2x and set it equal to your answers and divide by 2 and keep and then add 360 and do it again. It's going to be one of those problems that has a lot of answers. Okay, we've done those. They were on your review sheet. So I want to point that out to you. Number 4, uh, once again, solve that equation. Notice, you're, notice you have a tangent and a cosecant, so you will have to make some substitutions first so that you get the, the entire equation in the same trig function, okay? Number five, um, expand and simplify. Now, understand we have a trig identity for uh, sine of x plus 3 pi over 2. In other words, listen to me carefully, students. We know that when we have the sine of two angles being added, um, we can make a substitution for that. And then somewhere throughout that problem, you should have sine and cosine of 3 pi over 2. That's either going to be 0 or 1 when you take sine of 3 pi over 2 or cosine of 3 pi over 2. So be sure and really do a good job of simplifying. Take your time on that and you should be fine. Number 6, you are given that cosine of x is negative 3 sevenths and that x lies in quadrant 2. Find cosine of x over 2. So you have your half angle identities. Uh, use your half angle identities to solve that problem. Okay. Number 4 should be pretty easy. Uh, vector v has an initial point and a terminal point. Find its magnitude and direction angle. I would first personally write it in component form uh, before you try to find its magnitude and direction angle. Number eight, given vector v of magnitude and direction of that angle there, um, and vector w with the given magnitude and given direction, find v plus w, okay? So I would write those in component form personally and then add them together, okay? Have a good uh, day. Get started on your test now, please. And uh, you'll, you'll have eight more problems tomorrow on your second test.